What's up everybody? My son's Nintendo Switch was recently showing signs of Joy-Con drift. This is when the sensor detects movement but you're not moving a joystick or when the sensor doesn't return to the center. The best way to fix this is to replace the joystick. In this video I will show you how I replaced the joystick on my son's Joy-Con. This is the left Joy-Con. The instructions are similar for the right Joy-Con and the replacement joysticks fit both the right and the left Joy-Con. First, remove the four tri-wing screws on the back of the Joy-Con. Here's my tri-wing screwdriver. I will post links to my tools in the video description. Apply pressure down onto the head of the screw as you turn it. There is a gap here at the bottom of the Joy-Con. Pry here and pop it open. Then insert a pick or a plastic card and slide it up along the side to pop open the rest of the back cover. Flip the back cover towards you and be careful not to pull on those ribbon cables. Next, you want to find the battery connector and disconnect it by prying up from underneath it using a plastic tool. Then use a pick or plastic tool to pry the battery out. You'll see five golden screws under the battery, but you only have to remove three of these screws. I use the Phillips head screwdriver for these screws. Flip the midframe away from you and be careful not to pull on that ribbon cable. These two gold screws hold the joystick in place and this is the ribbon cable for the joystick. To access this screw, you'll need to disconnect the ribbon cable from here. This ribbon cable has a gray latch. Using a plastic spudger tool, lift it up from the left side. Pull the ribbon cable out from the ears or the sides of the ribbon cable. For the joystick ribbon cable, lift the black latch from the right side. Using some tweezers, pull the ribbon cable out. Remove the two gold screws holding the joystick in. Then wiggle the joystick out. I bought a four pack of aftermarket joysticks on Amazon. The left one is the OEM joystick and the right one is the aftermarket joystick. So let's put everything back together. Before you screw the joystick into place, you want to first aim the ribbon cable towards the connector. You may have to lift the joystick a little to get the ribbon cable to line up with the connector. Then grab your tweezers, grip the sides of the ribbon cable, and slide it into the connector. It takes some practice, but shine some light on the top of the ribbon cable so you can see it inserting flush into the connector. Then close the latch. Insert the two gold screws. Guide this cable to the connector and slide it using the ears on the sides. Close the latch. I'm checking all my latches to make sure they're secure. Now it's time to reconnect any other ribbon cables that you may have disconnected. I need to reconnect this one here. All right, all my ribbon cables are connected. This top button popped out, so I need to put it back in place. Ensure that the spring goes in here, and then ensure that the lip of the button goes into this groove. You can test it to make sure it's secured. When you flip the midframe back into place, look out for this cable. Notice that I'm holding it down in this gap. Keep the cable in that gap. Check and make sure the cable does not get pinched. Sometimes it gets pinched right here. Okay, our cable is good. Insert the three gold screws. The battery connector has a top and bottom side. These two slots on the bottom press down and into the connector on the motherboard. Using the battery, guide the cable to the connector and snap it down in place. Now set the battery down with the cable in this notch. Where these two cables are located, bring your Joy-Con and back cover together. Lock in the grooves and close it up. Snap in all sides and ensure it's fully seated all around. Check your buttons and then install your tri-wing screws. The right Joy-Con is very similar with just a couple of differences. There are no gold screws under the midframe that holds the battery. It's still just three screws to remove the midframe, but they are right here. The right Joy-Con has what I think it's a Bluetooth chip and the antenna, so move it to the side and then put it back in place when putting the Joy-Con back together. The ribbon cable that attaches to the midframe is short, but you can flip it away and you can also disconnect it if you want more room. Just reconnect it when you put it all back together. The last thing you need to do is calibrate the new joystick. And then click the button to calibrate it.
You want to test it? It's good. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next video.